Hey, what's Hi. going on, Facebook? We got Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez right here and Bridget Sarpong over here. Uh, we're just doing a little team coverage on some of the snow that's going on. Eh, winter weather. I'd put it winter weather. Some snow that's coming, uh, though. And uh, we were talking about those conditions outside. Just icy. Very, icy. very cold. Burr. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so cold. But we've got you guys. That's right. We've got you guys covered. We're going to be here all weekend covering up this, uh, this winter weather that we've got. And it is going to get to be pretty crazy. So I'm going to jump over here on the computer and we'll take a look and we'll see what we've got going on. One of the things that's popped up here is a winter storm warning. Uh, that's going to be lasting until Monday at 6 a.m. Central Time. And as you can see, it's almost our entire viewing area. So be careful with this winter weather. It's it's not going to be letting up anytime soon. That, again, is expiring on Monday. So a lot of these winter weather conditions that we've got out there right now are going to keep on through the weekend, through the rest of the weekend, I should say. And uh, it is going to get a little bit dicier as we get to the start of the work week next week. Hey, Yolanda, how's it going, Debbie? Uh, good to see you guys uh, watching this Facebook Live with us. Um, I'm really glad that you could join us. Now, we've also got a wind chill warning expiring Monday afternoon at 1 p.m. Central Time. So if you think it's cold out there right now, just get ready because temperatures are going to keep dropping off. We're actually going to see the winds picking up substantially for tomorrow, about 20 miles per hour. It's going to give us a strong wind chill factor. And I'll be honest, I never thought I'd see this in my life. <laughs> This is a blizzard warning in Guadalupe Pass. Uh, the National Weather Service, uh, we, we're going to be seeing strong, strong wind speeds and a lot of snow, especially in the Guadalupe Pass. So that actually fits the conditions for a blizzard warning. I, I'm pretty surprised, i got to say. But uh, hey, Alan, how's it going? Jan, Jordan, good to see you guys. I'm glad y'all could... You know, could view this as well. But uh, so far, none of the blizzard conditions have uh, popped up just yet. We've actually got a lot of white showing up here in Odessa and Midland, right around our radar tower. Same story in San Angelo. It's right around the radar dome. Uh, it looks like feedback out there, but I was cruising around earlier. Be careful on the roads if you have to go anywhere. I had to get to the station. But if you're driving around, be really careful. And I did notice some freezing mist and things like that. So I know humidity is exceptionally high right now. And that because temperatures are going to be so cold, that's going to allow that freezing mist to kind of accumulate on your windshield, on your uh, hood, and on, of course, the road. So very, very slick conditions. I did slide around a little bit when I was getting into the station. So really, really be careful. If you can stay indoors, definitely do so. This is, this is uh, not the kind of conditions you want to be driving in. And again, we're actually going to see this, these conditions get even worse. Now, snow depth shows about three to six inches right around Odessa. Now, that's not exactly snow that we're seeing on the ground for most of us. That's actually sleet, which is uh, tiny little balls of ice, whereas snow, of course, comes in the form of flakes. But, uh, Brian, we'll get ready. We, we sure are going to get some more snow. And it's actually really good for our drought. It's just really bad for the roadways. So make sure that you're very, very careful. Notice that little hot spot around Odessa. We don't see quite the same hot spot around Midland, but Midland still between one to three inches uh, on the ground. So we're still dealing with a lot of wintry mix on the roads, a lot of ice, uh, a lot of sleet out there. So do be really, really careful driving around. South of Pecos, we've also got another hot spot there showing off that uh, three to six inches of snow right there. Now, as we get to tomorrow, temperatures are going to be nine degrees for Odessa Midland. Nine degrees, single digits. This is where it starts. We're going to keep cooling down. And remember, humidity is super high. 92% for Odessa Midland, 100% for Hobbs. And that just means that it's going to stay uh, humid. And that humidity is going to produce a lot of fog. It's going to produce a lot of wintry mix, a little freezing drizzle, and allow that ice to accumulate on the roads. Now, we do have more snow and more winter weather on the way. This model not showing off any cloud cover. But watch what happens in the next couple of hours. Here comes another band by 9 p.m. that's actually going to be passing through the northern basin. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Hey, Minerva and Robert, it sure has been bad all day. Make sure to keep your pets warm, too. Uh, we heard about a couple of power outages, so make sure you have a plan of a place to get to uh, in case that your power does go down, and a plan for your pet as well so that you don't have to leave your pet uh, potentially in, in an apartment without power or a house without power. So, again, make sure to stay safe, and, and don't forget about your pets and your little children as well, especially elderly people. Uh, everybody uh, is included in that, so make sure everybody stays safe. But here comes that band tracking in from the west and moving off to the east. Uh, not producing a whole lot of snow, but it is just going to pile up on top of what we've had already. Now, by the time we get to midnight on Sunday, things clear out just a tiny bit, but then get ready. Here it comes. 
a uh, little snow in the northern basin, and then all this excess snow across most of the Trans-Pecos, the central basin, and you can see that just whipping on through a lot of our viewing area. So that's the conditions that the National Weather Service is talking about with the blizzard warning that we have in Guadalupe Pass. You can see a lot of snow. Let me zoom in on that for you. You can see a lot of snow out that way as well as some really, really strong winds. So make sure to watch out for that. And again, if you can stay indoors, I would highly recommend you do that. Uh, Robert, yeah, good, good plan right there. Keep the inside dogs inside. If I was an inside dog, I would be happy. Uh, because outside is not the place you want to be right now. Uh, and as we get to Sunday, it sure is going to get even colder, and we're looking at even more snow piling up. Now, as far as snow totals go, uh, we've actually got some really significant snow totals. Between about four to six inches is where we can expect to land here for Odessa Midland. Notice Guadalupe Pass picking up to about five inches, and we're also dealing with 5.7 in Alpine by the time we get to Monday early morning. So it sure is going to get really, really snowy. Brian, we're not going to get the blizzard in the basin. Uh, we, we only have the blizzard warning in the Guadalupe Pass, uh, but at the same time, that sure is something that I really never expected to see. Uh, pretty crazy right there. Dairy Queen does have the best blizzards. I have to say, Brian, you're totally right, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what Mother Nature's got in store for us. Uh, she, I guess, can do some pretty good blizzards herself. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update as far as what's going on here with our winter weather. And again, we do have some team coverage. Uh, I've got Bridget in studio right now. We're just kind of rolling through and trying to stay warm. I've got my big jacket on, even inside. She's got a pea coat on because <laughs> and some gloves. gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll, we'll leave you here. We're going to keep these updates coming all throughout the weekend, so make sure to keep it here to our Facebook page. And of course, uh, catch us at Big 2 News at 10 tonight on air on Channel 2. And we'll see you guys later. Make sure to stay, yeah. stay safe and stay warm.